Megalodon is one of the largest and most ferocious predators that ever existed on the planet. For about 200 million years, it swam in the seas and oceans of our planet and terrified the marine animals. It seemed that this shark had absolute power. But there were also other creatures even Megalodon was afraid of. From the dangerous crocodile and the killer sperm whale to the 120-ton giant. In this episode, you'll learn about these and other creatures that even Megalodon sharks were afraid of. Let's go! Leviathan Let's start with the largest prehistoric cetacean that ever existed. Meet Leviathan, or L. Milvelli. It was one of those that rivaled the giant Megalodon. Just imagine, it was 13 to 17 meters long and weighed between 90 and 120 tons. Impressive. Currently, there aren't many fossils of Leviathan, so it's impossible to say for sure how long Leviathan dominated the ocean. However, it's safe to say that the sperm whale occasionally crossed paths with Megalodon. The two sea monsters may well have come to collide. You think that only piranhas have powerful and sharp teeth? Or that only T. rex had them? I think I wouldn't be wrong to say that it was El Milvelli that had the most impressive teeth. Such a monster could easily eat a large shark like Megalodon because the size of its jaw alone was 3 meters. The upper fangs of Leviathan were 36 centimeters long and 12 centimeters in diameter. That is, its teeth were even larger than those of its enemy, Megalodon. Although the name Megalodon translates as big tooth, the length of Megalodon teeth could only reach 18 centimeters, which, however, is also incredible. Based on the advantages of the giant sperm whale, it could easily disarm Megalodon and defeat the famous king of the underwater world. Zygophyceter veruli Zygophyceter veruli is another member of the cetacean family. It's also called the killer sperm whale because it looked like a sperm whale. So here we have another candidate that Megalodon would have to fear. It lived on the planet at the end of the Miocene about 7 to 11 million years ago. Scientists say Zygophyceter veruli grew to 6 to 7 meters in length. The asymmetrical shape of its skull suggests that it used echolocation to hunt sea creatures. It also received a gift from nature of powerful jaws. Its teeth were 15 to 20 centimeters long, allowing Zygophyceter veruli to eat large fish. If it had a conflict with Megalodon, the latter most likely received severe wounds even though it was larger than the killer sperm whale. Ramphosuchus In prehistoric times, there were quite a few huge gharials and false gharials. Therefore, another creature that Megalodon feared was probably the largest of them, Ramphosuchus. It lived on the Indian subcontinent during the Miocene period as Megalodon. Paleontologists, unfortunately, have very few fossils of the species. They got only a few teeth and pieces of the skull. According to them, this ancestor of the crocodile was 8 to 11 meters long. Fossils indicate that it was a very active predator. Its long and agile tail allowed Ramphosuchus to swim quickly and maneuver in the water. It entered the water to hunt mainly small prey and fish, but sometimes larger prey, including megalodon sharks that were also caught in its mouth. Scientists speculate that Ramphosuchus could actually win a fight with these sharks due to its developed jaws, which were studded with a large number of long and sharp teeth, and were therefore perfectly adapted to hunt a wide range of prey, including such a giant as Megalodon. It turns out that the king of the ocean was once not Megalodon, as is now commonly believed. Before that, a much more dangerous creature reigned in the waters of the world ocean, for which Megalodon sharks themselves could just be an appetizer. This elongated body reptile was Mosasaurus, or the Lizard of the Moist River, a giant prehistoric lizard. Fossils of this genus have been found on many continents, including Antarctica. This huge sea lizard lived about 70 to 66 million years ago. Mosasaurus lived near the surface of the ocean and fed on whatever animals came their way, from mollusks, turtles, fish, and birds to pterosaurs and plesiosaurs. Mosasaurus and giant megalodon sharks never crossed paths with each other, 
so we can only imagine the battle between these two giants. So the biggest Mosasaurus could grow up to 17 meters long, but according to some reports, their length was up to 20 meters. Like dragons and snakes, the jaws of Mosasaurus had so-called joints. This allowed them to widely open the mouth and easily swallow a very large predator, including those which size exceeded their own. It's interesting that on the fossil bones of Mosasaurus, there are many traces of teeth of their congeners with traces of fractures and deep incisions. Also, we can assume that Mosasaurus were more nimble and their reaction speed was faster than that of the Megalodon. Another point in favor of the reptile in a potential battle with a Megalodon is the skeletal structure. Mosasaurus had a bony skeleton, while Megalodon's was cartilaginous and thus more fragile. Thus, the probability that the giant shark would have lost the fight is very high. According to some experts, this creature was the most terrible predator of the Jurassic and possibly of the entire history of the Earth. It lived about 164 million years ago. This is Leopleurodon, the fearsome marine reptile. Let's imagine that this creature, a large genus of Pliosaurus, would have gotten in the Megalodon's way. Let's start with size. In 2003, it was believed that the body length of Leopleurodon is 18 meters. These conclusions were based on the length of the remains found. But in 2003, another fossil Pleosaurus was found in Mexico with a body length of 18 meters. The fossils belonged to a young creature, and thus it would have grown even bigger. It would probably have grown to be 20 meters long or more. Leopleurodon was able to move perfectly in the water thanks to its powerful 3-meter-long flippers and short tail. Studies with the reptile's mouth was studded with huge round teeth. It also had very strong subcutaneous bony plates, which provided good protection. In general, if this creature and Megalodon had met and decided to fight, the prehistoric shark could have been definitely seriously injured. All the animals discussed up to this point actually existed on our planet. But what if Megalodon had to face the sea monster of legends, or an unidentified giant from the world ocean? Would it have stood a chance in such a case? Let's find out. The Kraken A lot of people have heard about it. It's a legendary, mythical sea monster of gigantic size, a cephalopod that sinks ships. It first appeared in Scandinavian writings and has now increasingly appeared in popular culture. If, hypothetically, Megalodon was to fight it, what would be the outcome? The Kraken is clearly larger in size than the prehistoric shark. The cephalopod could easily encircle Megalodon and thanks to its suction cups and enormous pressure, decide the outcome of the battle in no time at all. The Megalodon's attack tactics would have included a ram with which it would have tried to stun its victim and then put its huge teeth in action, but such tactics against the Kraken would have been completely useless. The cephalopod would again have enclosed the shark in its strong embrace and the fight would have ended on the spot. Bloop The world-famous ocean explorer Jacques-Yves Cousteau once said that a huge creature of about 300 meters had allegedly floated by his bath escape. The Norwegian explorer Thor Heredal also mentioned in his book The Kantiki Expedition by raft across the South Seas that while inside a submarine off the coast of Peru in deep water one night, he heard a strange and terrifying rumble. Through the porthole, he saw something gigantic and glowing floating past the submarine. And in 1997, something interesting happened. A hydrophone recorded a strange sound that came from the depths of the Pacific Ocean. Some experts believe that a sea monster, unknown to science, could make such a hum. However, there's still no evidence that this sound was made by a living creature at all. Some believe that the sound was made by icebergs dragging along the ocean floor. But what if it was a monster of monstrous size? Judging by the sound, it must have been a giant creature that would have crushed Megalodon in no time. We can only hope it's not something alive. After all, Megalodon sharks are long since extinct. But we're alive, and we'll be forced to share the planet with such a monster if it exists. That's all, guys. Who or what do you think makes that sound? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.